Hello friends, welcome to our new video and today we will discuss about the spoken English and the sentences and phrases and word used in spoken English and we will start from chapter 1 so so like the word we use have you ever or have you ever been so these are the present perfect phrases so have you ever been like have you ever been to Delhi if we ask Ki aap kabhi Delhi ge? have you ever been to Delhi then answer will be no I have never been to Delhi or yes I have been to Delhi and have you been have you been is here like have you been to Delhi we can generally ask have you been to Delhi if we don't use ever so have you been have you been to Delhi you have to practice this type of word to improve the this questioning from present perfect then the word comes like uh, this uh, question we ask generally how long have you kitne time se aap like kisi city mein reh rahe ho ya kisi job pe ho to like how long have you question will be like how long have you been married then we can answer i have been married for 10 years and Somebody can ask like, how long has she lived in Delhi? Wo kitne time tak Delhi mein rahi? She has lived there for a long or for 10 years or 15 years. She has lived. So, all the uh, helping verb and the sentences we will discuss while we will be uh, discussing tenses. But here, we will generally adopt these type of word like, how long have you? How long have you been married? I have been married for 10 years. So we have to answer like this. Then comes, would you like? This is a general question or we uh, offer or we invite people from saying like, would you like? Would you like? Would you like to go with me? Answer, I would love to. I would love to go with you. Would you like to have uh, party with me or would you like to uh, eat something so we use this uh, sentence would you like then comes to and either so if i am saying i am sad you will say i am sad too and if i say i am not sad i am not sad then you will say i am not sad either maybe dukhi nahi hu so you can use the word to and you can use the word either. I'm not sad either. Again the word so am I and neither am I. So am I is used like I am singing and you say so am I. Maybe. I am I am eating and you will say so am I. Maybe khara. So you can answer like I am singing too and too you can use if you are not saying so am I then it's fine you will say like I am singing too and then comes neither am I negative man if you are not doing that I cannot try if I am saying I cannot try then you will say neither can I or I I cannot either ki maybe drive nahi kar sakta so neither can I or I can't either. Both are correct. Suppose Anil cannot cook. Then we can say Ram cannot either. Or neither can Ram. If we use the uh, noun or personal name here. Like Anil cannot cook. And we talk about third person. Anil cannot cook. Then Ram cannot either. Neither can Ram. So better you understand like I cannot drive. Neither can I. Or I cannot either. So you have to practice for these words. Then comes how long does it take? So this is the general asked question or in conversation we use like how long does it take to go there or how long does it take to reach there by train or by flight or by uh, bus. So you can use how long does it take? How long did it take in past? If you are asking something from past 
or if you are asking from future how long will it take so the answer will be it takes it takes half an hour to reach there it takes two hours by plane to reach Delhi or it took or it will take according to the tense or time then comes the either and neither so how either and neither is used like would you like juice or cold, cold drink if we offer something or if we invite for something if we ask like would you like tea or coffee would you like juice or cold drink then answer will be you will say like either by saying either it means juice or cold drink ki juice ya cold drink kuch bhi de do chalega either juice or cold drink either kuch bhi de do juice or cold drink dono mein se ek and i don't want either agar aapko kuch nahi chahiye aap mana kar rahe ho then i don't want either i don't want either or you can you can just say neither not juice or coffee dono mein se kuch bhi nahi neither so either and neither is differentiate here like would you like juice or cold cold drink so you will say either give me juice or cold drink it doesn't matter i don't want either i don't want either मुझे दोनों में से कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट इधर और जस्ट से आ वर्ड ओनली नीदर नीदर मतलब दोनों में से कुछ भी नहीं एंड देन कम्स द वर्ड कुड एंड वुड यू सो दीज आर द जनरल टर्म्स यूज इन स्पोकन इंग्लिश एवरी टाइम यू रीड द न्यूज पेपर एंड एनी बुक्स कुड इज देयर because it's a past thing like could you please tell me about yourself so here could becomes the a uh, uh, gen generous like showing uh, respect to uh, somebody like could you please tell me about yourself so it's a uh, uh, so you are saying politely like could you please tell me about yourself so uh, and next would you would you like to come for party and you are replying like yes i would and here could you please tell me about yourself and then you tell about yourself yes please and you and you ask like could you please lend me money kya aap mujhe paise de sakte ho could you please lend me money could you please give me your pen aap apna pen mujhe de dijiye theek hai to could and would you like would you like to come for party so this is the offering or invitation would you like could you please so when you are saying anything in invitation or offering you and request also you can use the could you would you then comes the would so would is like i wish anil would come if we say like uh उसको आना चाहिए या वो आ जाएगा लाइक आई विश अनिल वुड कम मुझे लगता है कि वो आएगा ठीक है आई विश अनिल वुड कम सो जनरली वुड कम्स हियर यू से फर्स्ट आई विश अनिल वुड कम आई विश इट इट विल इट वुड बी रेन आई आई विश वी वुड बी वी वुड बी लेट और सो लाइक दिस आई विश शम्बड़ी वुड बाई मी अ हाउस i wish somebody would buy me a house or i wish somebody would answer my question mujhe lagta hai ki koi mera answer ka question ke answer denge so i wish somebody would answer yeah somebody would answer my question somebody would buy me a house you can just in his spoken english you can say somebody would buy me a house or somebody would answer my question or anil would come anil aayega anil like you can say so you will use the word would okay will uh, we use in uh, future tense and here would you can uh, you say the event uh, ha- will happen in uh, present or in uh, future and in present perf- in present 
so we use would when we imagine something and would have for past action so would we will use in when we imagine something ki wo aayega wo jayega okay and would have for past action and i would have been i would have become a good batsman or cricketer if i played well or if i so would have will be used in past action i would have become a great scientist so next uh, in next lecture we will uh, have some practice for this uh, sentences or these key uh, phrases thank you